I can't hit it. There's no way I'm getting I'm getting destroyed by a bunny. Die, 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 die. Please. Woo! So in today's video, we're going to be showcasing and giving away the best armor set in the game. Now, to my knowledge, this is the best since it's a very limited edition set. And obviously, I've got one and I'm going to be giving it away in this video. But before we can get started, please consider subscribing as it would greatly help me out if you do choose to subscribe. And then while you're down there, make sure you leave a like on the video. Let's try and aim for 200 likes today. Anyways, with that said, let's get started. Now, I'm sure a lot of you who play on this server already know which set I'm talking about since it's pretty pretty common and it's a limited edition set but for those of you who don't first of all come join at ecpehub.net and then secondly here it is sitting in my ender chest it's the easter g set now on top of just the armor i've actually also gotten the sword as well as the pickaxe now they released this around a week ago or so as a limited edition thing so obviously after this event is gone there's not going to be too many of these things in existence so obviously i think the price on these sets are going to be pretty high now if we go into here here it is the easter event 2022 now at the the very top is going to tell you how many chocolate eggs you have you can get chocolate eggs by killing rabbits during the easter event or you can help kill the easter bunny which spawns hopefully we can get a fight with the easter bunny recorded onto this if one doesn't spawn while i'm recording this video i will include a clip later on as well but apart from that here's the shop so to buy the entire set from the boots all the way up to the helmet is going to cost you 50,000 chocolate eggs and then if you also tack on the Easter sword, it's going to go up to 65,000. Now, overall, this is a really good investment. This set has been around in previous seasons, and I've made G sets out of them, and they absolutely destroy. Now, sadly, the set that I have right now is not actually mine. The owner of the server, Shadow166, actually gave it to me. I was asking him if I could get the set to do a giveaway on my channel and also kind of showcase it. Because by the time I got to the event, which was pretty much last night, there was only two days left anyways. So I really didn't stand a chance at actually getting this full set. Set, simply because I just wouldn't have the time to grind out 65,000 chocolate eggs. But anyways, enough of that. I've got the set. It's not technically mine, though. Apart from that, you can also buy a Greek crate for a 10,000 chocolate eggs, which, in my opinion, isn't as worth it. It's probably better to just try to grind out swords and the boots, since those are going to sell for a lot more than a Greek crate would. And then also, you can buy a rabbit spawner. Now, what these do is they spawn in rabbits, and you can kill the rabbits for more chocolate eggs. So it's kind of an investment, which will in turn get you more chocolate eggs in the long run. They also have the most useless one ever. For a thousand chocolate eggs, you can get a thousand CEE XP. I don't even know why they have that there. It's totally useless and then lastly there's also an easter pickaxe which costs 20,000 chocolate eggs now with the current meta i don't really think it's too worth it to invest in an easter pickaxe obviously it's going to be better than like a nemesis pickaxe or anything but in my opinion i think it'd be more worthwhile to invest in like an easter sword or part of the armor at least but i think i've really done enough talking so i think it's time we put on the set and kind of show you guys what custom enchants it has now when i say it's been a while since i've had one of these sets on it's really been a long time now pretty much each set has their own singular enchant but also this it has a full set bonus which is really overpowered but first off we'll start with the individual enchantments the easter helmet has hop one which has a 10 percent chance to boost you in the air if your health is below five hearts the next one is sugar crash one which has a four percent chance to give nearby enemies slowness and mining fatigue the next one has a 1% chance to remove a random effect from your enemy. So if someone's got a slime ball on or something and they has speed and it removes that, that's going to actually be really helpful. And then lastly, the boots have coated one, which has a 2% chance to coat your enemy in chocolate for four seconds. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I think it just means they can't move for four seconds. And then here's the full set bonus when you're wearing the set. So you get speed four, so it's decent, but I would recommend putting a gears five book on it if you are going to get it simply because if you're in the outpost and you're in this good of a set you're really gonna want to have that little bit extra speed you also get haste and then you also get jump boost six now this is actually super rare because most of the sets in the game if you get springs it only goes up to level five also you get fire resistance as well as resistance three and health boost three now this also is super nice because regular g sets such as the one here that i have the helmet's got iron soul two and the boots have bloom two so when i'm wearing that set i only get health boost two and resistance two so once again that's an another reason why this set is super overpowered and then obviously we got the easter sword this thing is super overpowered it's got looting five which 
which is pretty much one of the rarest enchants in the game. So if you want to use this for grinding, it's also not bad for that. Especially, I think if you're grinding the rabbits, it's going to be super useful. And also, there is the cracked one enchantment on it. Now, if you don't know what this is, pretty much, unless they've changed it, it has the chance to spawn a little rabbit, and that thing does a ton of damage. So overall, this sword is super OP for making G swords, as well as grinding swords out of it. And then lastly, there's the pickaxe. Pretty self-explanatory. It's kind of the same as just a regular nemesis pickaxe or whatnot. The only thing is, it doesn't say any enchants on here, but it's got a higher chance to get relics than a regular nemesis pickaxe. In terms of exactly how much, I'm not sure. I may end up doing a little bit of a test just to see how much better it is, but I don't really want to get into that just yet. Anyways, as sad as it is, we're going to put this set back just because I don't want to keep it on me because if I die with it, that would be a really sad day. Now, I'm sure you're all wondering how you're actually able to win this set, and I kind of forgot to get into that, but all you got to do is comment in your IGN down below and then obviously make sure you like the video subscribe and if you're not in my discord server consider joining it anyways good luck to everyone entering and let's move on to the next part of this video now we're actually in the wild to do this but I've got my rabbit spawner placed down and I'm just gonna be using my looting for grinding sword to kill them and obviously it's just like any other mob it just spawns in stacks and you kill them the one thing about these spawners though is after the event is done they're pretty much gonna be useless they have literally no F top value so it's not really worth investing in them and the one downside is with only one singular spawner these things are gonna take forever to spawn in but just from killing one we got three chocolate eggs and then let's see the other one also gave me three and honestly that's pretty much how you do it so it's really just a lot of grinding and obviously i don't really have the time right now to be doing all that if i had more chocolate eggs i'd actually invest in getting a couple more rabbit spawners and then then i could just afk for a little bit and come back with a big stack of rabbits and grind them out but i just really doubt that's gonna happen but the good news is i've actually got all all of this stuff that's my own now i didn't really get any of this other than a couple of chocolate eggs i was given the easter helmet as well as most of these stacks of the eggs so i'm just actually gonna go over to the chocolate here and i'm gonna deposit all these and see how much we got and then for this easter helmet i don't think i'll be able to get the full set with it so for now it's just gonna sit in my uh e-chest and I don't know what I'll do with it, honestly. But anyways, to deposit your eggs, all you do is you literally just open the NPC menu and it should automatically deposit all the eggs. And just like that, we got 906 chocolate eggs, which sadly puts us just off being able to afford another rabbit spawner. Now, I really don't see a purpose in actually buying one of these, but I might as well. So I'm just going to check on AH and all I'm going to do is see if anyone's put any of these chocolate eggs up here. And it does not look like anyone has. I'll keep my eyes on AH though, but we're going to move on. So well, there's kind of something I've been wanting to test for a while now, and that's just to see how much better the Easter pickaxe is versus a regular nemesis. So literally all I'm going to do is just kind of mine around, and I'm going to start like a 10 minute timer or so, and just see which pickaxe is going to be better. So I've got a 7 minute timer started here, and I'm just going to be mining as much as possible, and currently I am using the nemesis pickaxe. Alright, so the Nemesis pickaxe is now done, so now we're on to the Easter pickaxe. I'm not going to reveal what I got yet until I'm finished with this. But anyways, I'm going to start another 7 minute timer and I will see you guys after that. Alrighty, so everything is added up here, and it's all just sitting in this chest, so we're gonna open it up and see how each pickaxe does and how they compare. So first off, we got the Nemesis pickaxe, which got 5 common relics, 5 rare, 6 epic, 5 legendary, and 5 mythical. And then we got the Easter pickaxe, which only got 4 commons, 7 rare, 4 epic, 5 legendary and 4 mythical. Believe it or not, the Nemesis pickaxe won. It had 26 total relics, whereas the Easter pickaxe only had 24. Now, obviously, this is a really small experiment. It was only 7 minutes for each pickaxe, so the results could vary. But simply based on that, in my opinion, getting an Easter pickaxe isn't really as worth it, like I said in the beginning of the video. But if you are looking to get an Easter pickaxe, I would recommend just getting like a sword or something and just focusing on maybe trying to save up for a Dolabris of Astus or just getting a a regular G pickaxe like what I have. Now at this point in the video, I think there's one thing that would be worthwhile to work on, and that would be actually upgrading this helmet just a little bit. I'm not sure how much I want to do, especially considering I don't have many G set books, but even if we can just get a little bit of a start for whoever's going to be getting this G set, I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Now the sad part is, while I'm trying to work on making this G set better, we're actually kind of out of options. I've got no more forge notes, and I've got no more books, so I'm going to actually go to the CE shop here, and actually 
before I do that, I'm gonna be bringing with my uncharged refinement crystal. I need to open up only 21 more custom enchant books, and I'll be there. And I've got 31,000 CEXP, so I'm not sure if this will be enough or not. We'll we'll just see. And it looks like our inventory is actually pretty full here. It doesn't look like we got too good of enchants though which is kind of sad and then we also got a couple of more forge notes from my boss kill rewards and just like that we got another seven more and honestly once again we didn't really get too much good we did get iron soul though which is going to be pretty helpful now on top of that while i was doing my mining test there was actually a lucky event going on so i've got a ton of crate keys that we can open and maybe get something decent from them and i guess we got a couple of decent things i know we got a ton of kits though which isn't really the most helpful right now and we can do one more custom enchant book i don't even know what we got from that lightning Ooh, that's actually pretty good and since i do know that lightning's a really good enchant i'm actually going to be putting it on the easter sword here and then i'm going to grab all my forge notes and just try to upgrade this as much as possible and just like that surprisingly every single one of them worked and we now have lightning five on the easter sword we're not done there though i also got an iron soul book and we're going to go ahead and throw this one on the easter helmet as well and then obviously if we can upgrade it actually you know what i just realized we don't need Iron Soul. I gotta take that off now. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot, but when we're wearing the full set, you won't need Iron Soul because it already gives you permanent resistance three. And I can't even, I don't even remember how you take off custom enchants. I think it's this dude. Remove custom enchant. Iron Soul. I don't have enough CE XP. Oh my gosh. How? Okay, I really should have just let this be. Now I've got to try to find some more custom enchant XP. If I'm being honest, this is really not going well now. I just, I need to get these things decrypted maybe. I think if I could get all these relics here decrypted, that's... That will be very helpful. Well, I suppose now's the point where we just kind of wait for these things to decrypt. Now, one other custom enchant that we have is Conceal. So I'm going to be putting Conceal on both the helmet as well as the boots. And then on top of that, we also have some custom enchants that we can put on the pickaxe here. Now, to my knowledge, these are pretty good enchants. I'm not an expert, though. Hopefully, I'm not ruining the set. I'm just trying to help out whoever gets it, though. And thankfully, some of our relics have decrypted now, and we do have enough CEEXP, finally. I feel so dumb for doing this so i don't know why i put iron soul you literally get resistance three this thing is going to only be giving me up to resistance two but we're all good we got the custom enchant fully extracted and this g set is back on track now like i said i would be watching ah and see if any chocolate eggs come up there's a couple of stacks here for 500k each honestly i get it it's really overpriced i just need a head start so we're gonna buy a stack and we're gonna put it into this dude and i think just to make things fun we're actually gonna grind out the rest of them ourselves i mean hey we only need 30 more it can't be that bad right okay this is really slow but i'm determined to grind it out myself i only need like 20 more it can't be that bad someone has 43 rabbit spawners literally how how do you get that many? I'm out here literally grinding my rabbits to spawn like once a minute trying to get just a couple of uh, chocolate eggs and these people out here got 43. The good news is we only need five more so most likely just two more spawns and we'll be fine. Alright yeah we literally just need one more please just spawn in right now and here it is the last rabbit that we need and we're finally there. I'm, I'm so done with this. I've spent way too much time just sitting there waiting for rabbits to spawn in i i can't imagine how long it took people though like for real anyways there's not really too much else to do so we're just going to be buying another rabbit spawner i'll probably end up selling them either today or tomorrow but until then i think the last thing that i really want to do is fight this boss that's spawning in 13 minutes and i think for this boss fight we are going to be using our maxed out boss sword and then on top of that we've got a gears 5 springs 5 chest plate just so that i can move around really quickly and if i need to run i got the ability to okay i'm sorry this video is all over the place but you will not believe what just happened i actually had the recording pause but i was sitting right here and i straight up dropped my airy sword accidentally literally right in the middle of everyone and i was able to actually pick it back up so i'm really lucky but i think it's time i actually turn on a certain setting that's going to prevent me from doing that drop item confirmation we're going to turn that on so now if i drop it there we go now i have to actually drop it twice and then it'll drop Alrighty, so the boss is going to spawn in exactly 20 seconds here i think i'm ready i don't know I really hope I am. I'm gonna be using a slime ball. We will drink up a strength potion once it gets to about five seconds before it spawns in. I mean, hopefully I don't die. I guess we'll have to see though. Okay, here it is, here it is. This is where the fight begins. I got the sword going. It's sadly not the Easter boss, so I will include a clip later on in this video of the Easter boss. Overall though, I just wanna be able to place fairly well in a single boss battle. That's all I want. I've literally never gotten first place. So hopefully, hopefully. Oh no, oh no. 
This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I'm just getting focused by the boss. And now I've got levitation a million. Oh, no. I also should have brought an extra armor set. I'm really not thinking smart here. This is not good. All right. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. We just can't die. That's all. <laughs> We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Please just don't don't let me die. <laughs> I just want to be able to kill this thing. Now, I think one thing that really helps is not being able to see players because I can totally just focus on the boss without having to worry about other people. Ah, do not kill me, boss. Please. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This thing is just giving me levitation. Then it means I can't hit it for the longest time. It's so annoying. Okay, so I'm off my gap cooldown, but I'm just, I, I gotta keep focusing this thing. Oh my gosh, do not, do not let me die. Whew, we're good, we're good. We can get another gap in. And honestly, that's all I'm trying to do is just get as many kills as I can or many hits as possible. You know, I'm gonna be honest. I was really hoping it would be the Easter boss. Honestly, though, it's fine with me that it's not. It just means I gotta do more fights, which I will not complain about, to be honest. Okay, this thing is really comboing the heck out of me. And I've only got 85 durability on my helmet left. Hopefully I can fight the rest of the fight though, since it's not really locked onto me though. I'll say one thing, this boss loves to be super annoying though, just the way it plays. It's got levitation and stuff, like, why? Why? Please, I need every last hit here. I don't think I'll get top damage. My pearl didn't land. No way! No way we actually got top damage i'm so happy about that oh my gosh so what do we get for damage for being top damage we get a million coins a thousand cee xp three greek shards some blood of gods some forge notes honestly that's not bad i'm happy about that literally all we're going to be doing is just using these forge notes to upgrade this g set that i'm going to be giving away Alrighty, so it's been a little bit, but the bunny has finally spawned. Come on. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It doesn't let me use the slime ball. Woo! Woo! This thing's good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. The Easter bunny has spawned. This thing looks terrifying. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this thing looks absolutely terrifying. Oh, my gosh. If I deal top damage, though, I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm so dead. I can't gap. I can't gap. Woo! We're okay. We're okay. We live. We live to fight another day. Oh my gosh, this thing's crazy. I swear, this thing's literally so overpowered. Oh my gosh, it's onto me now, and I'm off gap. Oh no. <laughs> no, this is not good, this is not good. This is it, man. This is the fight that we've been talking about. This is kind of one of the ways you can actually get uh, chocolate eggs. And if you're starting off and you don't have any, this is kind of the only way you can get them, which kind of is annoying. Ooh, that was a lot of lag, that was a lot of lag. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Boy, is this this place is just lagging so hard now because of all the people probably trying to fight this dude. Oh my gosh. I'm he's got reach. I swear this dude's hacking. There's no way. Alright, it's okay. We're off gap cooldown. I need to fix my gear too. Oh no. Oh no. We're about to run. No way it's after no way it's, it's chasing me. Ain't no way. Whew. We good, we good. Alright, now that we got our gear back, we're about to go back in. I'm determined to kill this thing and i want to get top damage but my gear is just not it oh no oh no Whew, we're good we're good holy is this th this thing's cracked i can't hit it there's no way i'm getting i'm getting destroyed by a bunny ain't no way oh my gosh why is the server gonna die on me how the excuse me excuse me game hello i swear my helmet was not that low oh my gosh, someone better hit this dude before it just chases me. This thing's hunting me. All right, you know what? Whatever. I don't even care. I don't need a helmet. Who said I need a helmet? We can... Oh! <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, my gosh. This thing's cracked. Come on, he's so low. We can get him here. We can get him. We just gotta focus. Everything. It's all or nothing here. This is it. This is it. <laughs> Send it, man. Oh, my gosh. He's so low. Die, 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 die. Please. We got it. We did it. We got top damage. No way. Oh my gosh. No way. That is crazy. I'm out of there, man. That was the most sussy fight ever. So now just looking at our boss kill rewards and oh 
My gosh, we got a ton of chocolate eggs. Jeez. There we go, man. My whole inventory is just full of these chocolate eggs. That puts us back at 753. I might end up grinding up later, but I don't think we're going to be doing that in this video. But anyways, yeah, that's that's the Easter boss, guys. <laughs> anyways, though, that's pretty much all I've got for this video. I hope you all did enjoy it, and by the time this video is out, I don't think the Easter event will really be going anymore. But if you are looking to get a set, I would recommend focusing on trying to get an Easter sword as well as the armor. Don't worry about the pickaxe. It's really not that good. But anyways, with that said, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in my next one.